is Wednesday morning. I am getting ready to make uh, a keto apple pie uh, recipe, but I'm just making the filling. I'm not making the whole apple pie, just the filling. And if you want to see the whole recipe, uh, you can go to wholesomeyum.com. That's where the recipe is. If you want to watch a tutorial on it, uh, or rather uh, a battle, not a tutorial, but a battle, you can go to uh, Highfalutin Low Carb on YouTube. Uh, so he does uh, a battle between two different. Wholesome Yum is one of them. I don't remember what the other one is. So anyway, I will post those links in the description box below. So I'm going to get started. I've already got my... Uh, I'm using uh, yellow summer squash. Uh, I've already got it cut up and in the pan. And I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I'm doing. Alright, so there is my squash all cut up. Uh, I am doing just half of the recipe. So uh, I'm, I didn't even really uh, measure how much I've got in here. I've got two large squashes. Um, he said, Wes said on High Flute and Low Carb to use small ones. So I didn't read that <laughs> before I went and bought them. So uh, it said about six to seven cups for a whole recipe. I've probably got about three cups here, I guess. So anyway, uh, I'll be right back. I have a half a tablespoon of unflavored gelatin blooming into uh, a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. In my pan here, I have the uh, yellow squash, uh, a quarter cup of butter, I've got uh, the, the recipe called for a quarter cup of Monkford Erythritol blend. Uh, so since I'm doing half, we'll say one eighth of a cup, but that's never sweet enough for me. So mine's probably a little bit more than that. I used a fourth cup measure, measuring cup, but did, I just didn't fill up completely. So anyway, um, also I've got um, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then uh, I will be putting the gelatin in there in a, in a minute or so. So I'm just gonna like let the butter stir, you know, melt down and stir it up and then I'll put the gelatin and lemon juice in there. I have a half a tablespoon of unflavored gelatin blooming into uh, a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. In my pan here I have the uh, yellow squash, uh, a quarter cup of butter, I've got uh, the, the recipe called for a quarter cup of Monkford Erythritol blend. Uh, so since I'm doing half, we'll say one eighth of a cup, but that's never sweet enough for me. So mine's probably a little bit more than that. I used a fourth cup measure, measuring cup, but did, I just didn't fill up completely. So anyway, um, also I've got um, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then uh, I will be putting the gelatin in there in a, in a minute or so. So I'm just gonna like let the butter stir, you know, melt down and stir it up and then I'll put the Gelatin and lemon juice in there. Okay, here I've got my uh, my yellow squash and all the spices and whatnot in here. I'm probably going to let this cook for about 30 minutes. And then in this pan I've got butter melting for caramel sauce, which I am going to mix with this. So my idea <laughs> sounds good to me. Hopefully it turns out good. And then I'm gonna top it, or put it on top of truffles. 
my caramel sauce is all done and it smells so good oh my gosh Whew, love it I haven't tasted it yet but oh my gosh the smell it smells so good and here are the mock apples And my very favorite Johnny Cash song. <laughs> okay, it is done. And I have already tasted it. <laughs> so yeah, it is, oh my gosh, it is so good. Holy wow, it is good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. That's really good. Alrighty. Here is my lunch. Two chaffles. It's my pecan flour white bread chaffles. And this time I also added uh, a little bit more sweetener. I added some cinnamon and um, also a tablespoon of the golden monk fruit. And then I topped it with the apple caramel sauce uh, pie filling that I made this morning. So this is really good. <laughs> so I'm making two more truffles for tomorrow. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me, I don't know if anyone remembers, the uh, Taco Bell uh, caramel apple empanadas. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, really good. So I just got done making my tea. Uh, I am having, I'm making a whole pitcher. The uh, white strawberry from Adagio Teas. It is my very favorite from them. Um, next in line as far as favorites from Adagio Teas would be the uh, oolong grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit oolong, however it said. Uh, but yeah, white strawberry is my very favorite. So I put four of these spoons, uh, this is my David's teaspoon, uh, into the infuser. And then I filled the kettle up completely, uh, let it boil, pour it all in here. I'm going to let it steep for a while. And then I'm going to add uh, cold water the rest of the way up. Um, I'm going to wait a while. I'm going to let it steep for quite a while before I add my cold water to it. And that's going to be my tea. So, yeah, I love this stuff. Uh, if you ever order anything from Adagio Teas, you got to try the white strawberry. It's really good. Oh, I've also been shuffling away this morning. So, I'm getting ahead of the weekend. <laughs> and I think this is uh, the last one for right now. I don't know. I don't think I have enough to make another one. But I'm going to whip up another batch and make some more because I also want some for this morning. Because uh, the other two that I said I was going to save, I ended up not saving. I ended up having those last night. So I'm going to make some more because I want to have breakfast with the uh, the apple pie filling that I made yesterday with the caramel sauce in it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be breakfast. And I think I'm also going to put some bacon crumbles on it. So, alrighty. Be back in a little bit. Good morning. Peter Marnie here. It is Thursday morning and I forgot to mute again. All right, uh, so I'm in a really good mood this morning. I feel good. Uh, been, uh, I got some sleep last night was the thing. I, I didn't get any sleep the night before. Um, so I, I did get some sleep last night, so that's a good thing. I started a new amigurumi uh, while also still, I haven't really worked on the Spider-Man blanket for a couple days, so I'm going to work on that today too. Uh, got some truffles going and made my tea so I'm also gonna make some ketchup today because I've been out for quite a while and I finally got some stuff to make my ketchup uh, I was out of tomato sauce and tomato paste so uh, I got that uh, mr. Rocky there is getting his big clip today so <laughs> that's gonna be fun <laughs> all right so I hope everyone has a great day. I will check back in a little bit. Yeah, he kind of needs that thing clipped. He has a really hard time eating with that. Uh, 
it's not as curved as it was last time. Uh, so this time it's just pretty much way pointed way down. Last time I thought he was going to impale his chest with his beak, but it ended up curving away from him. So yeah, he's going to get that thing clipped today. I thought I'd go ahead and show you my whip. I'm working on Dash the Deer. I know I'm a little late with it, but <laughs> yeah, I decided to go ahead and make it after all, and boy, did I have trouble with the nose. But I finally got it. I mean, I didn't have trouble making the nose by itself, but I had trouble with the border of it. So anyway, yeah, that is my whip. All done with the chaffles for today. So I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14 regular ones, and then these last four here, these right here, have uh, cinnamon in them and uh, a tablespoon of uh, golden monk fruit. So, all done with that, and now I'm getting ready to make my ketchup. Alrighty, here is my breakfast. So I got two chaffles. Let me mute this. Mute. Uh, <clears throat> the two chaffles have the cinnamon and the uh, golden monk fruit in them. I put a little bit, just a little bit of sugar-free syrup and butter on them, and then topped it with the uh, the apple pie filling with the uh, caramel sauce in it. So yeah, this is breakfast, and. Mm, just it's so much I know I said it yesterday but it so much reminds me of the Taco Bell caramel apple empanadas that's what it tastes like to me yum oh my gosh this is so good okay I've shown this before but I'll go ahead and do it again so I've got all my ingredients out here for the homemade ketchup that I make I've got a, a can of tomato sauce and tomato paste and in this bowl I have a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, over here, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, I use the granulated garlic from uh, Costco. So I've been doing this recipe for years and it always comes out good. So in here I've got uh, a quarter cup plus three tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and then also a quarter cup of water. I usually end up adding a little bit more water um, and I use I'd say anywhere from 21 to 30 <laughs> drops of the liquid stevia. I just use the uh, plain Vitacost brand. So, uh, yeah, getting ready to make it now. And here is the recipe. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. Here is a small clip of Rocky getting his uh, beak trimmed. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so here's tonight's dinner. It's just my uh, Portofino yellowfin tuna, some lemon juice, the last tomato from the garden, and my usual seasoning. Uh, I was going to put avocado in there, but the last avocado was bad, so I ended up throwing it out. So that's going to be dinner. Almost forgot to show my finished ketchup. Yeah gonna put it in the refrigerator now I should probably let it sit out a little bit longer I don't think it's cool enough but yeah it's all done hey there so I am getting ready to close this day out uh, 
even though I got sleep last night and I had energy this morning, I am now very sleepy. <laughs> and I uh, am going to attempt, I always say that, I'm going to try to go to bed earlier than I normally do. Uh, so even though I got sleep last night, I still went to bed later than I wanted to. Uh, I didn't go to sleep until 11 o'clock last night. Uh, I was hoping to go to sleep around 8, 8.30, and then, you know, I kept saying, one more thing, let me watch one more video, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, one more row. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to do at least one row on the Spider-Man blanket over here. I'm not going to show it right now. I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm really not any further than I was last time I showed it. So, <laughs> Um, and I think I might do a couple of deer parts, you know, I'm doing Dash the Deer, uh, the Jess Huff Dash, uh, Dash the Deer. So, yeah, I'll probably do a couple of those parts, and again, I'm going to try to go to sleep early tonight. <laughs> so, anyway, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. I am planning on uh, catching up on comments probably Saturday or Sunday. I will get caught up on them. <laughs> um, right now I can't hardly see my computer screen because my eyes are shot. Um, so yeah, I will get caught up in them. I haven't forgotten about them. So I hope everyone has a great night and I might see you tomorrow. Good night.